Hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain and Cass's Creations. Okay, I've had a few requests for what I call a minimalist technique. Um, so I'm going to try and hopefully just get a really quick video done. So this is Binko Artist Paper, which is very similar to Upo. Um, it's an art paper that's biodegradable, uh, tree-free plastic. Okay, so this is an A4 cut down, but this could be a canvas... Um, a canvas board, whatever. Um, all right, so I'm just going to pop down some random little blobs. So that's our native violet purple. And just pop down a tiny bit of... So, oops, that was a bit more than what I wanted there, but in a way. So that's our golden water yellow. This is our new pearlescent cherry, which I just adore once it comes out. Okay, and then this is Mana Crab Blue, which is like a royal blue, a navy blue, sorry. Okay, so there I haven't got much product down at all. There's probably in total <coughs> about um, three to five mils. So here I'm just going to put down my white. Now, usually I just use my fingers, but I've been playing around a bit, so they're a little bit... I've got some boom on them. So I do have a, a nice background going, usually. So a good amount with this technique. Because it's a blowing technique, however, I'm going to use my little mini compressor for this. Now, this looks quite uneven, which it is, but it'll dry completely flat <coughs> and level. Sorry, I've got an itchy throat now. And that's my dog drinking. Okay, let's go. So my compressor is set on 20 PSI because this is, it won't go any higher because it's died a horrible death. All right, I'm just going to move some of my white in closer to my colours quick. Just even that out a little bit. Okie doke, so I've put my random blobs down and then I'll just start blowing. Um, in my head, of course, I've got, a, I'm envisioning that I have like a diagonal type blobby thing happening. Now trying to dodge the legs of this tripod. So like I said, this is set on about 20. It could certainly be higher. I've um, worked before and had it up to like 30 PSI, but... pretty I'll just so like I said this is the art paper but this could be oh sorry guys this could be a canvas it really doesn't matter this is tricky doing it with the tripod legs and you can see there it grabbed a little bit that's because I didn't have quite enough white there So I'm just gently blowing across my blobs basically. Oh, look what I just did. I just did a big... This compressor is terrible. I'll just I'll let the pressure build up for a sec. Um, so I'm blowing across my piece, across the blobs basically, um, and pushing it outwards. Aren't these colours amazing? Gosh, I love boom. And what will happen, where I've pushed across the white, you'll see here it's starting to sell up, we'll actually start getting some cells. And then I'll actually look at my design and just see what areas I'm not happy with, where I want it moved out a bit more. So... I'm going to add a little bit more white here because this is where I made that boo-boo. I scraped it with my um, with my gun. So I'll just see if I can fix that.
Oh, it's kind of... I always let my designs overlap, um, and that's just a personal thing, but also when I'm working with the art paper, if I overlap my edges, um, I don't get any retracting back from the sharp edge during, during the drying process, so that's why I do that. So if wanting to see the dry picks, because like I said, I can't edit, and I'm not going to have this waiting here for days and days, um, we've got a Facebook group called Boom Gel Stain, so I'll put the dry picks on there, and I also have an Instagram account, is that what you call them? I don't know. Um, so we're also on Instagram, and I will pop up all the dry picks on that. Now my gun's dying a horrible death as well. Oh. So this looks a bit odd, so we need something happening here. And they're a little bit silly shape, but I'll fix those and I'll show you how I fix them. Okay, I'll pause this for a sec.